Congratulations and well done on buying your new Easy Trail K Series camper. You've made the right decision. Before you head off on your first trip, we want to show you step by step just how simple it is to set up your new trailer. Be prepared, it may take you a little while the first few times you do it as you learn what goes where and who does what job, but after a while you'll be a well oiled machine. Let's get stuck into it. The first thing to do when you get to your campsite is to find a nice piece of level ground. Make sure you put on the handbrake and position your wheel chocks behind your wheels to avoid the trailer moving when you disconnect. To disconnect, flip the jockey wheel down and take up some of the weight off your vehicle, just until the pin is able to turn freely. Then disconnect your trailer plugs and chains and pull the safety clip out and then the pin out. Next, get a mate to drive your vehicle forward until the trailer is resting on its own jockey wheel then simply unclip and wind down all four corner support legs using the provided winder. Use these to make small level adjustments to the trailer to get it perfect. Unlatch the boat loader rack and with the help of a mate push it up and away from the trailer. It can lock either horizontally or vertically depending on what you have attached to it and how much space you have at camp. Next unlatch and lower the spare tyre holder at the rear. Then unwind both the forward and rear winches about 3.5 to 4 metres and attach to the anchor points. Then unlatch all your catches and lift the lid by about 500 millimetres. This is so that when you start winching, the lid lifts rather than pulls straight against the hinges. Using the front winch, wind until the trailer floor goes just past 90 degrees. It will then start to fall before the rear winch catches it. Once it is supported by the rear winch, use that to lower the lid down onto the front of the trailer. Before you go gung-ho into setting up the inside of your trailer, take the time to get your poles out and organise them into groups. There are a couple of pole types that you'll need to be aware of. These are your upright poles. They come with either a spigot or a C-clip, and at the other end, they've got the rubber foot. These are used to support your annex. These are called your ridge poles. You've got a flat on one end and a hook on the other, and they attach to the camper trailer, and they go out to the upright to support the roof of your annex. These are spreader poles and they come with either a C-clip or a flat end and they're used to spread the load between the poles to keep your roof nice and tight. These short guys are the window stays and they feature a spigot at one end and a hook on the other and these are used to keep your windows open. Lastly, these guys are your corner stays and as the name suggests they're used to keep the corners up nice and high off the bed. And to help make the whole job easy, each pole has a number on it identifying where it's used and what it's used for. All of the poles in the K-Series range have a quick release and a quick locking mechanism that's so easy to use, even the kids can do it. Before you get into the tent, there are two other types of poles you need to know about. The tent bows. These are the U-shaped tent supports that are attached to the trailer. The roof bow. This is for the tropical fly that sits on the top of your trailer to keep the sun and the rain off the canvas roof. Now that we have that sorted, let's get the trailer set up. Now it's time to set up the tent. This can take as little as 10 minutes once you're well practiced, but be prepared, your first time is gonna take a little longer. Locate your door key and use this to open the door of the trailer. This is always the first thing to do before going into the trailer and the last thing you do before folding the trailer back up. Unlatch the rear slide using the two catches located on the rear of the trailer and then pull the slide out to the full extension. Next, work your way around the trailer and make sure all press studs are connected so the canvas holds in place. Grab four C-clip spreader bars and two corner stays and climb inside your trailer. If your trailer is brand new, check that all the bows are correctly attached to the canvas. 
You do this by using the Velcro to hold them in place. The rear bow needs to be stood up first. This is the only bow that must be disconnected from the Velcro sleeves every time you pack up, otherwise you can snap the bow itself. Once the rear bow is up, put in your short and long spreader bars, then climb up onto the bed. Raise the bed bow and extend out until the side walls are firm but not tight. Then put in your corner stays and the other two spreader bars. Extend the corner stays and lock them in place. Work your way back, extending all bows then spreader bars, but take care not to make it too tight as it can open up the seams and cause water to get in. Canvas shrinks as it weathers, so your trailer may appear a little saggy at first, but pretty soon it'll be nice and tight. Like a lot of the easy trail models, versatility is absolutely key. Check this out. The rear bed area converts into a simple lounge. Beautiful. There you go, that's your tent set up in its most basic form. If you're staying for a few days, it's probably worth setting up the annex. Your annex will take approximately 20 to 30 minutes to set up completely and is best done with at least two people. The first step is to lay out all your poles ready for assembly. For the Stirling LX, you'll need four spigot uprights, four ridge poles, four flat end spreader bars, four C-clip spreader bars and two C-clip uprights. Next, unfold your annex canvas and lay it out on the ground. Then, lower your trailer centre boat to make it easier to attach the annex. Here's a little trick for you. Instead of trying to climb up and zip the annex on, once you get the zip started, use a window stay to help the zip along. Start off by inserting the hooked end of the ridge poles through the canvas holes putting the hook through the loop inside the tent. This is easier to do with a friend helping. Once all your ridge poles are in, start at one end and stand up the upright and add in the flat spreader poles. And then last of all put the canvas over the top with the upright spigot through the eyelet and use the elastic hook to secure. It's best to have your mate or missus help with this part, it's really a two person job. Once all the perimeter uprights and the spreader bars are up, it's time to put in the C-clip uprights and spreader bars. Being tall helps, but if you are a little vertically challenged, it may be a good idea to bring along a small step ladder. All easy trail annexes are freestanding, but it's always best and we suggest that you always use guy ropes, especially if there's a chance of wind. Perhaps you'd like some privacy from the other campers, or the weather may be closing in, it's a good idea to set up your annex. The first step is to get your walls in place. Make sure that the side with the PVC flap is going to be on the inside of your trailer. This will make sure the D-ring is on the outside and you can peg your walls down. Once again, with the help of a friend, start the zippers and zip away. Make sure you don't forget to push down the Velcro for a good seal. Peg out all your walls using the D-rings that are positioned around the perimeter. Well there you go, that's the Sterling LX, all set up and ready for anything with all the comforts of home. Don't forget to check out the camping tip segment on the DVD for some handy hints on how to tie things like guy ropes and also attach your shower and toilet room. If you've got any questions about the setup of your Easy Trail, feel free to contact your local dealer. But if you've picked up any hints and tips and you'd like to share them, log on to Easy Trail's Facebook page. Thanks.